This brief history of homeopathy is brought to you by Boron, world leader in homeopathic medicines. Until the end of the 18th century, European physicians used dangerous drugs very often mixed together to treat their patients. Bleeding and or purging methods were also used, often with devastating consequences. During that time, German physician Samuel Christian Hahnemann, disappointed by the poor results of these treatments, decided to close his practice and start translating medicine books. He wanted to find more information about the effects of drugs while continuing to make a living. When translating a Materia Medica from the then famous Scottish physician William Colin, Hahnemann found a detailed description of the cinchona tree and a drug called Peruvian bark, which had been successfully used to treat swamp fever, also known as malaria. Colin attributed the action of the drug to its extreme bitterness, but Hahnemann thought otherwise. First, he thought it is necessary to know the action of the drug on a healthy person. Hahnemann started by experimenting on himself, taking a large dose of Peruvian bark and noting his symptoms, mostly fever and chills. He knew the drug relieved malaria, which also causes fever and chills. Could this observation lead to a rational way to determine which drug treats which symptoms? Hahnemann decided to experiment on other drugs and to involve more colleagues. He also started to treat patients with increasingly diluted doses of medicines to decrease the side effects. He and his colleagues experimented with about 100 drugs during his lifetime using plants, animals, minerals, metals, etc. They recorded their findings in the new Materia Medica. Because of the similarity between the symptoms caused by the drug in a high dose and the symptoms relieved by a small dose, he coined the name homeopathy from the Greek words meaning same suffering. Hahnemann began to treat patients again. He also created a precise method to prepare his medicines. He first macerated the plant into a tincture, then diluted it precisely 100 times and shook it. This was called 1C. Then he diluted the 1C 100 more times and shook it to get 2C. He continued to repeat this process until he reached 30C. And he did this for every drug he worked on. This new therapeutic method was soon used by many physicians in Germany, who in turn taught their colleagues from other countries. Homeopathy became known worldwide. In 1823, Dr. Graham was the first to practice homeopathy in the United States. Ten years later, Dr. Herring founded the first homeopathic hospital. The homeopathic pharmacopoeia was created in 1897, and in 1938, President Franklin Roosevelt signed the act that defined homeopathic medicines as drugs. Since then, more and more healthcare professionals and patients are discovering the many benefits of homeopathic medicines. For more information, visit boronusa.com.